line guys if you didn't notice there at the very beginning we were loading up grabbing gear and getting ready for another fishing adventure today is one of those days where I got lucky and I just decided that I'd take a half a vacation day and we're gonna go hit some ponds the primary goal of today is, is I'm gonna bounce from ponds that you've seen me fish to ones that you haven't seen me fish and we're gonna try and mix it up a little bit here and move from one location to the next today I'm gonna catch a few fish hopefully at each pond if I don't we're gonna move on to the next one it is currently a Friday and it's about 1130 in the afternoon so hopefully we can get these fish on their lunch break and catch a few of them so make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a comment and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you can get updates when the new episodes come out so you can watch them firsthand and get the first glimpse of them don't forget to follow me on instagram my instagram page is at the legend outdoors and there's always cool photos uh, there's always neat little video uploads different uh, that's more like a personal level on on for me right there it's kinda just my way of getting out and reaching out to friends and family and a lot of you guys on YouTube that watch and other people so follow me on Instagram throw up the likes throw the thumbs up on the YouTube channel make sure you leave a comment I love getting back and answering all my fans I know the channel's new and young yet, but I want to make this as much fun as possible. Today's adventure is going to be primarily filmed on my DSLR because I forgot to charge my GoPro last night. So there won't be as much GoPro footage today as what you normally would see. So hopefully that's not bad. Hopefully it's good. I think it's going to be a positive thing. The DSLR shoots at a lot higher frames per second and it's a lot nicer uh, filming. So. As always though, we run the risk of the wind and there's just nothing I can do about it right now until I can get like a cat cover for my mic to try and beat down some of that wind, but that wind is just battling me left and right, up and down in any way it can. So you guys stay tuned and we're going to go for another epic day of fishing on the Legend Outdoors. Peace. So we are at the infamous neighbor's pond. You have seen at least three episodes of this, and this will be a fourth. Let's do a little quick fishing. Looks like looks like everybody's home. Hopefully, I'm not in the way. I always feel like I'm in the way sometimes when I get out here. Wow, it looks like the pond's cleaned up a lot. Holy smokes, this really cleaned up. Boy, this will be a treat. Oh, also, also, real quick, for those of you who have been watching the channel for a little while now, let's name these ponds. Let's figure out a good name for this. I'm always calling it the neighbor's pond, but let's call it something. Let's try and figure out a good name. If you got a real cool, funny name or something like that, leave it in the comments down below and I will randomly pick a comment down below which probably won't be very many but I will randomly pick a comment down below and we will name this pond so you guys help me out alright let's see if we can pitch this underneath that dock I just, that dock and I
All right, we're gonna keep trying to rock this funky setup. Sometimes it's just, it's in the approach of the lure too. I mean, these fish might want this lure to come diagonally across the pond. I mean, who knows? It's, uh, to me it seems like it's just, it's a guessing game sometimes. And like I said, yesterday they just had a big pond party, so there was a lot of swimming and activity inside the pond, so, you know, that, that affects it too. Gotta keep moving on, gotta keep looking forward. Sometimes you just gotta dance, dance, dance. I don't know. No joke, no joke. It's tough right now. It's my fishing partner for today. I think he's hot. He's making funny noises too. <sighs> Where's all the fish at, man? Can you guys do me a big favor? Um, after you get done hating this video because I caught no fish, uh, pray to the fish gods for me, okay? How's that sound? There we go. Wow, he's a big one. Calm down. Damn, Mr. Crazy. Hooked him good. Yeah. Another, probably a couple pounds, pound and a half maybe. But they're fun to bring in like that, that's for sure. Get him back in the water. Cool beans, man. Got one. At least we got one, right? Well, I don't know, but yeah, that's about all I know. I don't know. That was probably some of the toughest fishing I've ever done in this pond. It, uh, it's always been a massive, massive producer of fish, which I'm not saying that there aren't fish in here. All I'm saying is, is the swimming and all of the activities that were going on over here yesterday has really just put a damper on the fishing so having said that I'm gonna go ahead and call it a, a day on this one it's a nice pond man it really is But 
today just wasn't the day. I got one out and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm glad that I got the one, but I'd like to get more. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to another spot. You guys keep watching and there's going to be more legendary times to come. Do you, do you like how I, I shaved it up? I don't have the chops no more on the sides. Kind of look like Elvis, didn't I, there for a while. All right, guys, we'll see you here in a little bit. All right, guys, we finally made it to our location. This will be the pond right back there that we're going to be fishing today. And like I said, I have my kayak with me, so we're going to drop that in. We're going to see how it goes. We just had a couple other people show up just now. Maybe we'll get lucky. We have a low-pressure system that's moving in which is going to potentially mean some rain and we need some rain right now because <clears throat> unfortunately the weather that we've been having right now has been absolutely wicked hot like so hot to where it's it's burned me it's burned me bad anyway all right guys we're going to jump in there you may see the gopro empty slot right there because it is currently charging right now as usual i always forget to charge that stupid thing but lucky for me, I brought my wireless battery pack with me so I can just hook it up to that and get it charged. So hopefully halfway out here on the water, it'll get charged up and we'll start using it. And I also figured out why the GoPro footage wasn't working as good. For some reason, I had it shooting at 30 frames per second when it should have been shooting at 60 frames per second. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll see you out here on the water, hopefully catching some monster donkeys. And we may catch some grass pandas while we're at it because there are a lot of grass mats out here and Mr. Frog needs to get wet. Peace. There always has to be that one thing that I always constantly forget. And you know what? I forgot another thing. There's an insert for a pole holder in the top of my kayak. Forgot it. Anyway, let's get out here on this, on this somewhat beautiful pond.